Welcome back to Deep House with Larry White at the historic home of Sam and Alfreda Maloof in Alta Loma, California. Lauren Verdugo, my apprentice, is here with me again today as we continue to explore the wonderful artifacts found in the Maloof collection. In today's seventh episode, we're going to look at the evolution of the iconic lowback chair, one of Sam's favorites. So we just finished talking about rockers in the last episode, which brings us to my favorite chair that Sam ever made. Um, and so that's going to be the lowback. So from my understanding of it, Sam started this design early on and it carried out all the way through the end of his career, but it was the only one that ever had a finished that's look, right. Right? right? Where he stopped messing with the design. Yeah. The, the, the lowback, we'll take a look at it in a minute, but the classic lowback was the only design he came up with where he felt he'd done enough, that he'd reached a point where he was totally satisfied with it. The rocker, on the other hand, he kept tweaking that forever. Even that ever. last piece of his, yeah, it's all exactly, new designs. Exactly. But this is an interesting piece. I was working there with Sam, and this is about 1966. A client called and wanted a dining chair with a low back and no spindles. Okay. And so if you look at this platform, yeah. it's just like many of the other chairs from the 60s we've just looked Just the low at. arms with he no stretchers? He just cut the legs off and put a crest in there. There you go. The interesting thing about it is most of the crest up until that time sat on top of the leg. And so by doing that, he set it inside, which set a new trend in terms of how he constructed his pieces. Right. So the thing was, when he got this done, when you look at it, you're going, hmm. And so he made the set, and he may have made another set, but he immediately decided it needed some... Uh, aesthetic help. It needed more dynamic right. everything. Yeah. Right. So if you look over here, so we're looking at 1965, and so now we're looking at 1976, 11 years later. Yeah. This is what the low back looked at that point, where he added the curved arm, and he started developing the sculptural aspects of it. Yes. N developing a little bit of hard line, a little sculpting under the arm, and that kind of thing. So he's He's pushing the aesthetic of it. Yeah, uh, and compared to these right here in the back, I noticed that these are just kind of rounded. Right. But these ones here are folded over, and he continues right. that this into is, the... This is something he continued with uh, by sculpting the back of these legs and then carrying that hard line down. That's something he continued through his career for the next 20 years. And that was part of the yeah. finished product in that design too, right? That right. feature. Right, yeah. So anyway... Uh, all of that experimentation led to the classic uh, uh, low back. And in the mid-70s, I think, or towards, he started using a hardwood seat. The first ones were flat, and then eventually he developed a pre-curved seat, right. uh, which made it even more sculpted. Mm -hmm. So this one is 19... That's a 97. I think, 1997? Yeah, I was one years old. No, I'm yeah. just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So anyway, he's carried it to the point where the hard lines now just continue around the piece. And it's just amazing, you know, the uh, sculpted aspects of it and the detail. It's yeah, just, and that front leg, I notice, yeah. is it has a nice curve to it. This one's just straight down. Yeah, right. That's a turn laid with the original socket, you know, the yeah. half, so half circle socket. And those have the... This the, is the mechanical lock. The, the official new joint. Maloof joint, yeah. yeah. Right, right. And if you look at the bottom of it, you can see how sculpted it is all the way around. Underneath. I, I wonder why it's so yeah. smooth on the bottom. I don't know who did that. <laughs> <laughs> well, that happens when you buy creative labor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, it's an absolutely exquisite piece. Um, and uh, it's one of those. Uh, pieces that people feel are uh, one of the most beautifully designed pieces ever, you know, as a handmade piece. Yeah, you know? and from his rockers into this chair, right. I think that a lot of his designs have an Arabic, like, script to them. Yeah. You know, it looks, it's very flowy, and I yeah. think that kind of relates to his uh, design sense. Yeah. Just having that uh, cal calligraphy, even his signature is always beautiful on it. Right, it's true, yeah. So it's a, it's just... Uh, the epitome of fine design refined over a long period of time to yeah. its ultimate. A design yeah. that's been seen right. all the way through. Right. Well, cool. Yeah, beautiful. All right. So I know we have some other good chairs coming up, but yeah, again, favorite chair. Right. I love it. 
this is this is my Sam chair. <laughs> so. Oh, good. You picked a good one. All right. <laughs>